Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at importing and exporting between Scrivener and Scapel. My thanks goes out to the folks over at Literature and Latte for sponsoring this video and making these really amazing apps that are Scrivener and Scapel. Scrivener is this all-in-one amazing writing tool for writers, even bloggers or project management, what have you. It's a great way to create stories, organize your thoughts, put everything all in one application. Scapel, on the other hand, is a really great visual aid to take ideas, quickly record them, and organize them in any way that you see fit. Whether it's a flowchart or a basic listing, it is all up to you. So again, more information, head over to literatureandlatte.com. All right, so here we are, and we have Scrivener here on the left. We have Scapple on the right, both made by the folks over at Literature and Latte. And I really, really love these applications. I've been using Scapple more so recently to kind of offer a visual aid. And this is super unique and, and obviously varies to how you want to use these applications. I think what makes these apps so great is that there is no right way to use them. You can use them in any way that you see fit. In this case for Scapple here, I have a flow chart that I made up for an example here of the character, in this case me, as an example. Uh, let's say you're writing a book within Scrivener, you're writing a novel, and you're, you need to brainstorm ideas for a character or whatever. And some people, they need that visual aid. They need something to map out their ideas and put it all together and make connections. Well, that's where Scapple comes in. Scapple offers a great way for you to do just that. Um, I made a whole video on it so you can check that out. I'll leave an annotation. However, I've created a basic flow chart here of... Uh, again, me in this case, and I have all this information recorded and I have on the left Scrivener. So let's talk about how you can kind of work between the two importing and exporting content as you see fit. All right, first off, let's talk about how easy it is just to kind of drag and drop between the two applications and it works again going both ways. So here on Scrivener, I have a text uh, document open up here in my binder. It can be, you know, a chapter, it can be uh, your index cards for research, but let's say you want to take that text and then make it into a chart or make it into something that you can work with in Scapple. Well, it's easy as just highlighting the content, clicking and then dragging the content over here in Scapple, letting go, and just like that, it'll automatically import that text and make it into a note. From there, you can go about you know applying styles, what have you, to customize it, and then you can start connecting it around. So it's a great way to visually take your writing or what have you, and then draw connections between it. While Scrivener allows you to kind of organize everything and have everything in one place, Scapple allows you to make those connections and get a visual sense of all the work that you're putting together. So that's how easy it is just to kind of import content over from Scrivener into Scapple. The same way works vice versa. So let's say I have this note right here. I want to take it and then put it into a, a bubble here, into or take this bubble and make it into a uh, note over here on Scrivener. I can just take that bubble, drag it over into my binder on Scrivener, and just like that, it creates a new text, and then I can put that into my research folder, for example. Again, super simple, drag and drop, that easy. However, of course, there are more methods, so we can take it a bit further. Here I am in Scapple. Let's say I want to take all of this content here and then export it out in an OPML format. What this will allow me to do is get more control over each of these notes here, or these little bubbles within Scrivener. So I can get a full OPML layout here. So I'm gonna go into my file on the top left, export it out as OPML or the outline markup file format. And then from there, I'll go ahead and you know give it a name. So in this case, I'll just say test. And then we'll hit save. And then now that it's saved, I can go into Scrivener and hit import. And again, we'll find uh, here we'll go into import and you can import and split import or just clone to files here in this case to make it easier. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to open up that test.opml format. So I'll open that right here. And just like that, you can see it, it's taken every single, uh, bubble that I made within Scapple and it's gone ahead and created them each individually here on Scrivener. So again, that simple, that easy. I can then go and then, you know, put more text and context surrounding around each of these topics. Uh, really unique up to you however you want to do it, but that's how easy it is to do it in an OPML layout. If you want to get just the whole visual aid, if you want to just import the actual flow chart or whatever you've made in Scapel, again, super simple, file, export, PNG, and then again, you would go ahead and save this, so we'll go ahead and save it as test as well. And then the same thing, so we'll go into file, or you can just drag this out of Finder, however you prefer. You can import it through uh, Scrivener, if you just click into Scrivener, file, import files and then find that PNG. And just like that, we've now imported the PNG and you can see I have control over the image here. I can scale it, do some rotations and adjust it however I see fit. 
And now I have that visual aid within Scrivener. So if you are somebody where in your workflow, you wanna get everything out and brainstorm, you can do all that in Scapple. And then when it comes to the actual writing, when it comes to the actual organization, import everything into Scrivener. And now you have everything in one app. No need to jump around. You have your visual aids, you have your charts that you've already made. From there, you can focus on writing, giving more context, uh, context around certain you know cards that you've made whatever it may be, everything gets easily imported all into this app and then you can organize it as you see fit in your binder. Again, it really is that simple and easy. You can do it with the drag and drop method. You can, of course, take the whole mind map that you've created or chart that you've created, export that out fully in a PNG format. It really is up to you and however you wanna do it. So again, this is Scapel and Scrivener and however you wanna choose or however you choose, I should say, to interact between it is solely on you and your own personal workflow, but I hope you enjoyed. If you have any tutorials or requests that you wanna see on these apps individually, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to take that into account. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thanks for watching.